Welcome to Reality Bites Back, the ultimate destination for all things 90-day fiancé drama today. We're diving into the latest recap of Love in Paradise Season 4, Episode 5. Stay tuned for all the juicy details and relationship revelations. Let's get started. Season 4, Episode 5 of 90 Day Fiancé, Love in Paradise brought plenty of drama for several couples. The Monday, May 20, episode was filled with memorable moments including a fight about a prenup and a sweet moment of self-acceptance. One week after fans watched Luke tell Maidlene he wasn't moving to be with her in Colombia during his current trip, he said she had been sulking ever since he broke the news. Meanwhile, he tried to get a clear head by talking to his friend Brian about his new sunglasses business and the arguments he's been having with Maidlene. Brian advised Luke to get a bulletproof prenup if he ever marries Maidlene, and the United States native agreed with the suggestion. Later in the episode, Maidlene said she was excited for the wedding planning process during a visit to her grandmother's house. However, she admitted she had concerns about her and Luke's finances. Despite her fears, Maidlene made an appointment to see a venue for their wedding. Luke eventually brought up signing a prenup before they tie the knot, which made Maidlene upset and she stormed off. After getting into a fight over his latest sperm donation during the May 13 episode of the 90 Day Fiancé spin-off, Annie and Kyle had a tough conversation about their future. He said he was willing to make compromises in order to make their relationship work, though said he would not stop donating sperm. One week after Sean admitted to Alia that he was having a hard time accepting her transition, she met up with her friend Jackie and said she wanted to give Sean space to come to terms with his feelings. Alia admitted she worried that Sean may never love her as much as a female, adding that she is open to gender reassignment surgery but is not currently considering it. Despite their issues, Sean made the most of Alia's 25th birthday by throwing her a party with some of her friends. She said goodbye to Douglas at her bash and ultimately felt more free. Sean was happy to see Alia feeling more comfortable in her skin, though admitted he still had reservations about their relationship. He eventually acknowledged that he needed to get on board or let go of Alia and Douglas. After spending one week in Italy, Alex said that she and Adriano have been arguing over many different subjects. In light of their issues, she met up with her cousin Tiffany to do pottery and have a girl time. Alex then told Tiffany that she was having second thoughts about their relationship, stating that she might be trying to fit Adriano into a plan that he does not want to be part of. Have a tip, send it to us. Email reality bites back at contact at in touch weekly. Come.